everybody. My name is Diego. I'm from, sorry, I'm from Aqua. Uh, so let's talk about security because it's going to matter to you a lot. You see that poisonous images, poisonous workload, rogue containers are starting to become uh, more and more common. You have the Tesla hack and additional vulnerabilities that are found any day and every day. So OpenShift and containers basically introduce a new uh, set of problems and not enough tools to manage them. Out of the box, Kubernetes is not secure. Be aware of that. OpenShift did a very good job, Red Hat. IBM, Red Hat, what do you call now? Red Hat. Red Hat. Okay, Red Hat. Red Hat. Did a very good job protecting and making their uh, environment safer, but still there are much more things to achieve. Even that, uh, based on the lecture that I heard today, version four is supposed to be much more secure. So here is Aqua. We are a three years company. Uh, we are spread all over the world, and we do security for native cloud payloads, native, uh, native, native cloud applications. We know how to integrate with all the different orchestrators that exist. We are very seamless integration with uh, OpenShift. It's deploying uh, workloads, basically deploying a service in a daemon set, and automatically in about 10 minutes you have everything running and configured. We have the ability to integrate with the image streams of OpenShift, so we will be able to scan the images from the OpenShift registry, and also we have the ability to search the images, if you're looking to see exactly what images exist over there. You can schedule scanning and more, uh, and you can understand what is your posture in your image. You can understand what vulnerabilities you have, what components of you have in, in, in every image, and you can define if you want to uh, deploy the image or block the deployment. You can see that basically when you will try to deploy the image, Aqua will be able to stop that and give you a notification. So no poisonous image can be deployed or non-compatible image will be deployed. Not only that, we are able to integrate with S2I, so we basically can scan and be part of your pipeline, so the integration and scanning will be seamless and will be automated, because everybody knows shift left is better, right? Okay. Just verifying that nothing changed in the last two weeks. <clears throat> so basically, as I mentioned, we basically are able to integrate to the S2I and scan images at the run. Now we are also able to protect containers from becoming raw containers or from container drift. So where somebody is abusing the existing container and trying to do a lateral movement to another system or execute different payloads that you don't allow, like crypto mining, ransomware, and everything. So we are able to identify and try and block without killing your payload any offending action that exists. Uh, in addition, knowledge is power, so we know how to push all of the information that we gather to different uh, SIM or different systems, so you will be able to see the big picture. So now your NOC or SOC not only will show you your system or your Kubernetes information, OpenShift information, but also we will be able to show you the security posture and what security events you have in that system. So you have a full visibility of what exactly happened and more. And the context of the information is based on your open sheet. It will be deployment uh, namespace, uh, sorry, deployment name, space, space name, forgot the word, never mind. And on. In addition, we are very big contributors to the open source system. So we have a set of tools that are open to use, free. You also can contribute to them. We have the Cube Hunter that it's basically <coughs> Uh, automated pen testing for Kubernetes. We are working on a version for OpenShift also, but it's much more harder. Okay. I want my lunch. Uh, <laughs> it basically allows you to find all the misconfiguration in Kubernetes. You have the Kube bench that basically is allowing you to find and define the difference between you, your Kubernetes installation, and your the CS for Kubernetes working also for a version for upper shift. And the micro scanner that is basically an executable that you can use free of use as to scan your images to make sure what CVs you have over there and what type of uh, changes you need to do in order to be more secure. Doesn't require any registration. You can run it on S2I, on a Dockerless environment, on a, during the creation of the image, and it can integrate to different pipelines like Jenkins and other good stuff. 
Uh, thank you. Our boot is on the left, then to the right, and we have semi-cool giveaways, so feel free to come. Just, just semi-cool. All right, thank you. All right.